Hello there everybody, Saban92 aka Nightmare, and welcome back to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I had to do some grinding because I got a very special Pokemon on my team now. Ah, did the Aron. And with the ability of Rock Head, I'd say we're pretty well set. Especially considering I replaced Headbutt with Takedown, an arguably better move. Which, I mean, it has a lower accuracy, but I can fix that with a single use of the Call command. Also, Setsuna is now level 27. Um, Nova's still 29. Soul is evolved into Swalot, so now we have a level 26 Swalot. And has Sludge, Body Slam, Shockwave, and Toxic. I'm pretty sure it'll learn Stockpile, and if that's the case, I might... I don't know, this moveset's actually pretty damn good. I'm gonna have a hard time trying to pick what I want to get rid of. I might get... No, I want to keep Toxic. I feel like that's gonna be very useful for boss fights, I think. And we brought Lil back into the party. By the way, I should probably... Uh, yeah. Lil and Ardeth will work together. Anyway, we, uh, battle Chobin, who decided to go on a mecha Groudon. Delightful. Now, we're here at Kamingo's lab, and I believe we have... Hmm. Where's the... Where's the dude that's supposed to be here? <clears throat> Wherein lay the weakness of my Robo-Pokemon? Ah, Eureka! Next time I shall make a real Pokemon drive it! No, oh, wait, something about that plan sounds extraneous. Mm. You're not helping. You child! This area strictly prohibited! Oh, never mind. The basement R&D room is no longer home to any secrets. You may come and go as you wish, but try not to disturb my card inside. I'm gonna disturb him. Can't stop me. Oh, there's something in here. Damn it. Part of me was hoping there'd be something in there. Hmm? Oh! Oh, it's an elephant. Oh. Cool. Oh, oh, no, I didn't mean to go back up. I was trying to go over there to look at the... Okay, so that must be the Mecha Kyogre that they were working Or Robo Kyogre that we're working on. Yeah, I can see it being half-designed. Hmm. This is the Robo Kyogre that Kaminko had under development. He called to use a scrap and demanded that it haul it away, but you know, this is quite a well-engineered machine. Oh, don't mind me. I talk to myself in normal. It's fine. Oh, you're giving me quite the start. Oh, it's you, lad. What's up today? Explain what had been happening to my con. Ah, Cypher is back then. I thought they'd folded five years ago, but they've returned. So you want me to modify your scooter for desert crossing performance? Well, you certainly are bold for even considering to face Cypher alone. Fine, let's do it. I'll modify your scooter. Good deed shouldn't wait. I'll arrange to haul this Robo Kyogre back to my shop right away. I'll see you there. Oh, delightful. Wait, no, I wanted to go back to the... Oh. Fuck you! I'll meet you back there. No, I'm fucking taking you there. There was an item in that basement to pay the shirt! Whew! What a job that was! I'm finally done! I've converted it into a hover type scooter, so it would be perfect for the desert! Go on, try it out right away! So, uh, can I buy anything here? Or is this just a. Right, excuse me, but seriously awesome. Be fine in the desert now. But that robot Kyogre we got from Dr. Kaminko, is it going to be useful, do you think? I think it's going to be junk like usual. I guess I can't buy anything here. <sighs> okay. I guess I'm heading back to Dr. Kaminko's lab. Because you took me away from an item that was obviously at the bottom there. Uh, I didn't want to have to go here, but I'm going back anyway. Oh shit, it is a hover button scooter. That's pretty cool. Also, the Robo Kyogre is gone. Oh my lord, really? Wait, who goes there? 
I swear he's... And you another burglar! Chobin will pull you straight, don't you move! Chobin is the name and Chobin is the number one assistant, Dr. Kaminko! Chobin is forever the only assistant, so Chobin has to be the number one assistant! Really? I'm seriously fighting you again. There we go. Finally. Also, Ch oh, Ardeth leveled up. Yay. That's appreciated. Oh, Trovin lost. Yeah. You um person. Oh, it's oh, geez, out of us. What is it possible that you came for a battle with my Robo Groudon? Chobin must sadly must announce that the modification work is not yet done. Chobin says you to curb your enthusiasm. Really? An email will be sent when Robo Groudon is ready, so wait for that eagerly. No, I don't even want to fight your Robo Groudon. I just want to get the freaking item that I missed because the game decided. You know what? We're just gonna. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take him away. And we're just not gonna let him have fun. And that's just how we're gonna do things. Understand me? Yeah, that's how we're gonna do things. You don't get to have fun. Or the madman. Get me down here so I can, oh, there's Rubble Ground on. Oh, neat. A rare freaking candy. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that. Ooh. Battle CD 23. Good thing I came back here because I got another battle CD. You tried to hide that from me, you assholes. How freaking rude. Good lord, these people. I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with your crazy asses. Wait, can I go in there yet? Oh my. Yeah, I don't want to question what the hell that is. Ooh. Uh. Is this like a dungeon? came down here because now there's like quite a few items I can pick up. Battle CD number 11. Okay. Let me take this one. Also, I did notice that they are all color-coded, making this a little bit easier for me. Battle CD 5. Guess it was worth coming over here. It's filled with stacks of white paper. There's writing on them. Javi's random diary. What? Hey, why the hell is my sister's diary here? Top secret, the Pokemon HQ lab has a secret room somewhere. Doesn't look anybody knows where it is. Javi will find it first and make it a secret base. Oh. The robots under this room are made to look like a red Pokemon and a blue one. And it's supposed to work, but Javi's not sure if that's true. Because Chobin says that Javi can't take a ride. Javi bets Chobin won't let the Javi take a ride because they don't work. Chobin's a cheap steak. Oh, he probably is. That's ah, my sister. Good job, you can tell. Uh, maybe not so much a cheap steak, more like a fucking lunatic. That's probably the more appropriate term, honestly. Get me out of here. I will give credit though. Pretty clever way to travel around this whole upper area. A bit dangerous though, if I could be perfectly honest. Oh, I ain't dealing with you, Chobin. Getting the hell away from this, psycho. Although, I will give this game credit that it does allow you to refight certain people.
All right. Here we go. Well, 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 there's a familiar sight. Libra. It appears to be the SS Libra, the missing Pokemon transport ship. Yep. Whole thing's just torn to bits. Something blasted out of here. Judging by its uh, malform. Justy. Zodobas, thanks for being so patient. The pre-gym is finally set to reopen after the Cypher takeover bid. We're all looking forward to the opportunity of battling you, Zodobas. A bit too, uh, I'm kind of busy. What are they? Hmm. I don't think there is a method for me to being able to cross this in just a Not yet, at least. Hell, I don't even need a Pokemon to, to use strength. My kid's just strong. Actually, that's interesting. My kid's strong as hell. Not bad. Not bad at all. What? I could just hop off of there? How did... Okay, this is gonna be... Uh, this is gonna be one of those days. So I can just casually hop off of the, the side just because I can. Great. And I gotta be very careful. I was just gonna examine the area, but no. Jump right off, buddy! Oh, if that's the case, then... That's how I get it. Okay. Well, that certainly explains stuff. The only downside being that this is the, what, the fourth, third, fourth time that I've had to do this? So put this back. This time, don't jump off the side. And just... Oh, I don't know. Make progress! Also nice of them to casually leave that box there for me. Hmm. Oh, what the... Ew. That's some purple stuff dripping there. Nasty. Oh, hi there. After all I do to get here, we let one get away from us? Isn't that right, Snidal? Oh, yes, indeed. Such a lost opportunity, for it was obvious rare. If only it had been caught. Why, if you caught it, Goragon, your collection would have been enhanced by 0.7%. Such a disappointing loss. Took off because you made so much noise, Goragon, sir. I heard that. You're pinning the blame on me. Let's blame the insubordination. I'm in a foul mood today. Not playing foul. Foul, foul. Today of all days. Uh, ow. I got a gun, sir. An intruder. What? Hey, how's it going, punks? Oh, they thought Snedo had to screw up. So I had to say sorry again, yeah. Our recovery plan's done, but we can't let you go. Not after you've seen us here. Oi! Uh, yes, sir? Did you see old boy let a dango too about pay? Aye, aye, sir. You just leave everything to me. You're gonna be assured that the, the job will be done while you return to the lair. See to it! My god, this man's got a hell of a swagger. Well, now you heard the man. I must get back to the lair, too. You know what to do. Wait a second. That's not what you said. Allow me to explain. We have a crucial job to do at the lair. We need to make Shadow Pokemon from those that were on this ship. You do agree this is indeed important, don't you? If you were to do the job, you would take 38% more effort than I. 
In that case, a Gorgon's mood would worsen by 72%. I do agree that this ad is indeed most inefficient, don't you? As a result, if you were to take this boy on in my place, we would be ahead 63% in terms of overall efficiency. You do understand, don't you? It's only for efficiency's sake. I'll be going now. Why do I always get the feeling that I've been had? Oh well. If I don't beat you here, I wouldn't be fulfilling my duties. Don't hold a grudge for this. Why are you the most level-headed, but... Like, smartin? Is that always your name, or is it... Yeah, I think that was always your name. Huntail and Cacnea. Okay, let's go. Oh, I just realized my... I just realized the problem that I got here. Uh, Huntail is going to be a bit of a problem, so I'm going to use Mud Slap on Huntail and return. Pretty good damage. Good job, Lil. Yeah. Yeah. And I figured as much that was what was going to that was what was gonna happen. That's enough. Oh, needle. Interesting. It's not a bad move per se. However, I'm not gonna let Ardith lose out on experience gain just because he died to a single water pulse. Here, have a fresh heal, Setsuna. Wait until I replace that with Giga Drink if I can get it. That was pitiful. Also, your speed change does not really matter because this boy has Mach Punch. Get rid of that Huntail. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and heal uh, Lil real quick. Boost your happiness a little bit. Oh, do it! Bonk! Farewell, Huntail. That was a slight rhyme. Boy, I also got to. My Teddy Ears is better. Okay, mock punch on Teddy Ursa while we're at it. Fucking one shot, god damn. Nicely done. Cover! Okay, no shadow Pokemon this time. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, hell, man. I know what you're going to do. That's why I'm not bothering to try to use that move. Alright. Use Mach Punch. It won't do that much because there's a poison type, but it'll weaken you enough to where Return might be able to knock you out. Let's find out. Yep. My prediction was correct. Well, not prediction, but my calculation. Really? Is that really all you're going to do? Oh well, you asked for it. You're not going to be able to live to take advantage of that counter, by the way. Sorry, Smartin. Sorry about that. <sighs> what? I lost! Go back to the lair like this. Unfortunately, you're not gonna like that. Oh, we left. Um, I. I watched you battle in those downright bizarre people. You're some kind of tough, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, me? Oh, I just happened to stumble across this ship, so I made it my home. You know, there's plenty of food and all. I have to admit, certain things bug me, but nothing's perfect in life. You, it, you, you just took this place as your home. Really? Now, I've got to admit, I'm glad that weird bunch is gone. 
I owe you thanks for that, at least. So you must be tired after all that battle, right? Oh, you can rest up in my place. It's in the warehouse. Wheelhouse. Fuck. I... Thank you? I guess I appreciate that. You, you didn't really have to, but cool. Well, did you get some decent rest? You're free to use that bed whenever you feel tired, okay? Thanks. By the way, I've got this favor to ask of you. See, every so often, I hear these odd noises coming from deep in the ship's hull. I think there's someone skulking around down there, but it's too creepy for me to go take a look-see. How about you go look for me? All right. Ah, thank you kindly. That noise has been really eating my nerves lately. I can hardly sleep. So, we're done investigating. Need you to tell me if you found anything. Okay. Well, what? Is it normal? How the hell did you move it? You know what? Why should I bother asking? Wait, can I examine this? It appears to be a gauge of some sort. It doesn't move anymore. Well, gee, I wonder why. Battle CD 18. Huh. Oh, maybe the bond slides down here in here somewhere. Groudon, that's a Ludicolo. Eve picture. And that's just purple stuff. Hmm. Ah, I know how to do this. Watch this. What it what it makes what it expects you to think is that you you put it between these two, but that's not the. God damn it. I hate how easy it is to just casually fall off the side like that. Pee pee up. Nice. I could probably sell those to get some decent cash out of them. Then again, grinding makes cash pretty easy, so I might just hold on to those. Firestone. I will happily accept that. All right, let's move on down. Well, this one's this one should be easy to solve. All right, this with a little. There we go. Okay. Uh, believe it or not, I actually fell off another time, and I, I screwed up. I had to do that all over again. Oh God, why? <laughs> okay, let's see. So the goal is to get over to. Really? Tempt me like that? Got cheeky bastards tempting me with goodies. Actually, wait a minute. I think I've got a way to solve this. Hmm. Yeah, I think I already know how to solve this. Hold on. That one right there, because that's the only way I'm going to be able to get that item. Shit, I just realized the command room. Okay. Okay. So, here's the idea. Push. 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 And then I go around. Push this one up, and thus allowing me to get both of the items. Very careful. Yellow flute. Oh. It did say the okay. I saw like a little bit of the text. I guess it got it got sent to the um 
for the PC. That sucks. All right, I'm gonna give this charcoal to Nova. I think like, I might actually make good use out of it. Give the Soothe Bell to Lil. I know it's got pickup, but don't test me. TM35. Uh, what is that one? Do I want to teach that to Nova now? Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll let the comments decide whether I want to let him learn it right now or wait. There you are! Oh, is that? It's a sleepy buns lie! Okay, so there's probably some gimmick around here. Oh. Ooh, a luxury ball. It's sleeping, so maybe I have to be careful. Come on! Damn you, PDA! At Cree from Port, let me interview you. Zotoboss, I would like to write a novel featuring you as the main character. Please let me interview you. I have a good feeling about this story. I might be generous with my thanks. Uh, my thank you. Damn it, Akri. Startled by the mail's messages and noise, the Pokemon fled somewhere. God, I'm gonna strangle him. And life is good because I got a leftovers. One of the most broken freaking items in the game. In any game, actually. Alright. I think. Hmm. Almaguest hasn't evolved into Dusclops yet, so it wouldn't be very useful for Almaguest, so I'll give it to Solf temporarily. At least for right now. Okay. Really? Okay. I gotta go find that bonds lie again. Cute little booger go. That is obviously not what I wanted to do, but thank you anyway, game, for knocking me off because you can. Oh, hey! So, how was it? Was there anything down? Oh, wait, that's right. Oh, so how was it? Was there anything down there? Yes. Thought a boss described the Pokemon that was deep in the ship's hull. I see. So was a Pokemon down there. I'll sleep better at night knowing that. That right? So was a Pokemon that a girl asked you to find. Did you say it got away? Well, this place isn't a very welcome place for a wild Pokemon to survive in. Why well, should I looking for it in places where wild Pokemon are wrapped together? Anyways, I'll be heading off for home now. After all, you solved what worries I had. I'm surely indebted. Come see me whenever you like. You're always welcome. Thanks, I guess. Oh, so this is letting me outside. Okay. Okay, so apt where wild Pokemon will show up, huh? So that would be the Poke spots. Well, there is an interview waiting for me at Gation Port. I'm gonna make an attempt and look in the wild spots real quick. That might yield some good results. Possibly. Huh. Hold it! No one gets past here. Oh, come on. Team Snagum? 
What are you assholes doing here? Oh, wait, they're still here, duh. I'm waking of Team Snagum. Wouldn't hurt you to remember that. It won't hurt you to forget his name either. Soylence! Huh? You, you don't have a clue about who Team Snagum happens to be, do you? Back in the old days, grown men shook when they heard our name. Sheesh. And then that bastard Sabata and just fucking wrecked us. But that's alright. We'll get back to snagging Pokemon just like the old days and terrify the world again. They're all mooks, they all get the same voice. And we'll do that by using your snag machine. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to try a little harder than that. Whoops, I know you're a great battler, but I'm ha not having any of that. Gloom, release your sleep powder. Send this kid off to Betty by. Wait, what? <laughs> the snag machine is mine! Quick, let's get back to the hideout. They took my snag machine! Hey, can you imagine how happy a Gonzap's going to be with us? You mother truckers. Ugh, god damn it. Shh, they took my tool. Huh? Hey! Are you awake now? Looks like you had a rough time of it. Are you all right? They stole my machine, of course not. That bunch I saw, weren't they Team Snagum? Why would they want to pick a fight with you? That about to explain what had been happening. Is that right? So that's been happening at the world at large. Team Snagum was a bunch of crooks and thugs. They were snagging Pokemon from people with Cypher's help. I would heard about them for the last couple of years, so I figured they fell apart. <clears throat> I guess not, eh? Anyway, seems to me you need to get back that thing they took from you. I think they took off north, chasing after another bunch of strange characters. Maybe you ought to join the chase, too. Uh, it's right around here, on the north side of Eklo Canyon. They took my rhythm. So now I can't capture Shadow Pokemon until I get it back. From the sound of it. That really, really sucks. Shit. So I got like two, I gotta go through this all over again. Never mind. Uh, that's delightful. Let's see what happens if I go to the poke spots. Maybe I'll be able to find that bomb slide. Oh. Although what I probably should do is I should stack a bunch of snacks all over these places just to be safe. I feel, I feel naked without my snack machine, you know? It feels just weird. Spotted, so there's no point in hiding anymore. Who are we? We're Team Snagum. Team Snagum. Can Riley say I know them? See, he doesn't know either. It's bringing tears to my eyes. Hey, we should go. We should leave this up to Gonzap. Be quiet. We finally managed to track down Cypher, haven't we? We're not just leaving now. Hey, you, you big lunk. We have business in that building. Stand aside if you don't want to get hurt. Lunk! You're calling the dashing and terrific Mr. Zuka Lunk? How dare you! You're not getting away with this! Oh? 
Team Snagum Biden would like to battle? Okay. Zangoose. He's, oh, that's right. Shadow Zangoose. Fuck! Team Snagum Biden lost to Thug Zook. That got the short end in that one! Damn, Biden, you s- you yeah! Darn it! See what I say? If we would have just waited for Gonzap, this wouldn't have happened. Waken must have reached the hideout by now and given that snag machine to Gonzap. Hey, you want more where that came from? <clears throat> we'll pull back and regroup. Let's get back to the hideout. Oh, please, please don't fight me. You're not running up with it. You've got guts, but... Huh? <gasps> Wait a second. You're that brat who's a gadget on port. What are you doing here? You're nothing but bad news. Ever since I saw you, I've had nothing but the worst luck. First a gadget on port, some guy challenged me to a battle out of the blue and probably stopped me flat. Then Gorgon gave me one major dressing down for showing up Shadow Pokemon without permission. Because of that, he made me stand guard here as punishment. One thing I can't figure out, though. How'd Gorgon ever find out about me anyway? I don't know. Ah, remembering that has given me riled up. This time I'll flatten you. Damn it. Zangoose and Doduo. Well, we know a Zangoose is a shadow Pokemon, but we can't capture it. Without a snag machine, we can't capture the darn thing. You're the biggest threat, so I'm gonna confuse you. Ah! That kinda hurt. <clears throat> you think that would hurt, Ardith? You fool. This boy's got our interface and everything to back up. <laughs> that kind of sucks that I can't capture it. Well, I mean, I could make an attempt, but I doubt it's going to work. Yep, need the snag machine to snag the Pokemon. Yeah. Honestly, I figured as much. Oh, wait, I don't need that. I just used some fresh water instead. How you're surviving all my guests, I will never. But you're about to die. No, oh, never mind, you're attacking. You're, you're attacking Ardith. <laughs> I shouldn't be upset about that, but really? Lower that Zangoose's accuracy. It's too big a threat. Now I'm gonna start using Takedown. Honestly, I, I, I'm a little bit like Thank you for hitting yourself, Zangoose. Okay, that's okay. I got this, I got this. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Don't get him, boy! Don't get him! Very good damage. Take down and hidden power. Hit yourself. No!
You did good, all my guests. I'm bringing out Setsuna. You think that would actually hurt Ardith that much? That's quite, well, pitiful, really. One well-placed mock punch should knock out that Zangoose. I'll just keep- I'll just keep using takedown. The difficulty level has risen now that I can't capture Shadow Pokemon. Alright. That's us 28. Wants to learn counter? Nah, his moveset's good. Carvana. Okay, I can handle that one. No! Stop it! Go get him, boy! Go get him! No. Oh. Told you to go get him. Fine, I'll call and raise your accuracy. Go! Mock Punch is a beast of a move. A is good. Yes! Level 29! Let's learn Iron Tail. It's less accuracy than Metal Claw, but then again, I can raise, like... Well, the th here's my here's my argument. I can use Call to raise Ardith's accuracy, making Iron Tail much easier to hit with. So that's my argument for getting rid of Metal Claw. That's my argument. That's what I'm sticking with. Sniper. That was a lot of damage. Thankfully, Doduo is part normal type of memory serve, so yeah, that good that did that did very good damage. But even if Setsuna gets knocked out, yep, he gets knocked out. He did good, Setsuna. He did good. Soul, wait. Mm, yep, yeah, Soul, get out here. Not very effective. We're using poison against poison. Okay. Um. Whew. Thank God I'm not doing a Nuzlocke style of this game. I probably would have lost a long time ago. I don't care if it's not very effective. My goal is to try to get a paralysis off that. That failed miserably. Okay, Arith. All you gotta do is survive. Thank you, Arith. Now will your iron tail hit? I guess. I guess flinching is also an option. I'm gonna try to use Iron Tail again, but this time I'm not going to have the soul do anything. I'm just gonna focus on healing Arneth. Okay. Please, buddy, don't flinch. Oh, actually, no, better question, don't die! Please! Thank goodness Relicanth does not have very high special attack. That didn't do as much as I was hoping. Okay. Okay. Is it 
received. Shockwave it is! That's actually pretty good. You know, I'll give Zoo credit. He has some pretty good solid Pokemon on his team. So, honestly, I wouldn't say that it's all bark and no bite, because he clearly has the bite. I use Mud Slap and then another Shockwave on Relicamp. Like, <clears throat> not gonna lie, <clears throat> uh, Zook is definitely no pushover. He's a strong dude. Good. Well, it wasn't much, but it's still better than nothing. Lowering his accuracy at least a little bit might help out to some extent. Now body slam that snake! And just kill it, I guess. That also works. Damn, Zook, you put up a good fight. But this can't be happening. It did, though. You lost. You're just some kid. How can I, the mighty Zook, get beat by just some kid? Because you fluked out. You only won because you got lucky. That's gotta be the answer. I won't battle you again. If you win by a fluke again, my reputation will take a beating. Right. Won't battle me again? Well, oh. I'm better off just going to go. Well, actually, I have one option. Yes, I know what I just did. It's fine. Because I want, I, I actually do want all my guests to actually evolve into Dusk Claw. <sighs> okay, so I wonder if I can actually make any progress in this area, or am I just kind of not allowed? You lost, punk. If I had the mighty Zook exists, you'd be crushed no time. Hi. No, no. I'll let you win. No. You run along now. Fine. Jesus. Okay, fine. So I can't go anywhere. Fine. Let's see how it is. Stairs up. What? Well, this is Sec of ONBS. So about something's come up. Your help is urgently needed. Please come see me at ONBS in Pyrite Town as soon as possible. Okay. See what's going on in Pyrite Town. Hmm. Probably something to do with the fact that my snag machine got stolen. That team Snagum's already begun stealing Pokemon again. they're up to. Also, while I'm here, I may as well just use the healing machine just to, you know, get some healing while I'm at it. Yeah, I realize I wasted my items. Don't judge me. If anything, I think it's a cons it's, I, I think it's a good thing. I leveled up Dusk Noir. I don't, no, not Dusk Noir. Oh, my guest. So, good. Not what I've used it would for anyway. Kidding me? Team Snagum ripped off your snag machine? Net, can't you do something? I need to say it. I'm already searching. Hmm. Oh, good. 
There doesn't appear to be any new information with regards to Team Snagum. It does appear, however, that they aren't involved in any Cypress or Capers. Team Snagum must be operating on its own. Right. The same. Well. That's Detro. Oh, hi! Welcome back. Did you find that Bonsley? Somewhat? I lied. Oh my god, I feel bad. I just. Oh. I feel bad. I just. I. Hmm. Sad. Heck is. Was he in? Oh, he might be in. Oh, right. Zodobos, I'm glad you're here. I've been waiting for you. Huh? What happened to your left arm? Weren't you wearing the snag machine on it? Let's see, what's Team Snagum's doing? Not surprising that they wanted your snag machine. Five years ago, Team Snagum was in par partnership with Cypher. But when they lost their snag machine, Cypher gave them up as a lost cause. I thought Team Snagum just folded after that. They must have spotted your snag machine somewhere. Start investigating Team Snagger right away. I'll let you know as soon as we discover anything. Oh, right. I'd forgotten completely about this email message I received. You see, ONBS got contacted by someone who claimed to have fled from Cypher's base. We debated sending out of news teams immediately, but there's no guarantee that it won't be a trap or another risky situation. I hate to impose, but could you go investigate for us, Zadabas? Fine. Thank you. We know that you can be entrusted with this, Zadabas. The man who contacted us is named Hordle. He said he'll be at the outskirt stand. Outskirt. If it's what I think it is. We're depending on you. We'll investigate Team Snagum while you're gone. Anyway, it looks like that's probably where I'm going to have to end it for today. Didn't really get too much done, and somewhat suffered a defeat, and now we cannot capture any more Shadow Pokemon until we get our Snag Machine back. Kind of a shame, honestly. Anyway, what I should probably do is I should probably just continue on with my initial grinding that I was doing, because... I wanna see if I can get... I don't know what, I can't remember for la I'm gonna have to look this up when these guys evolve. I'm gonna continue my venture of trying to get everybody close to level 30. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching and I will see all of you in the next one.